so very much for making time to come and join with us. I'm grateful that we are making a meaningful impact um, into your life. Today, I want you to stay with me as I'm going to challenge you on the subject of a mindset of a winner. Mindset of a winner. Um, that is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Of course, we've had so many um, theories about why we're going through what we're going through as a country, as the world. And uh, some of the people are also coming to a space where we are now beginning, it, beginning to think that it is the end of the world. Um, everything is coming to a standstill. But I remember vividly, I think it was the, the year 1999, um, when we were about to cross over to the year 2000. Many people and many prophets of doom came and said, it is the end of the world and everything is going to change from where we are. And uh, even our computers are going to reboot or they are going to start from zero because we are now entering into a new space. Of course, you must understand with me that uh, I'm not taking that for granted and, and I'm not taking that as a possibility, away as a possibility. But what is important is that human being must be, when we are not able to control the narrative, we will try to you know, fabricate something. Um, to assist us to cope uh, with the happenings or with the struggle, if not a crisis that we are going through. Right now, I want to share with you these four things that I be these five things that I believe they have been helpful into my life, um, especially during this lockdown. And I'm hoping that they will also assist you. And um, let's say we go with all the narrative, we go with all the theories where. It is the end of the world, all right? Let's say those who are saying it is the end of the world, granted. But what if we are still going to live beyond the lockdown? What if there is still life beyond a lockdown? Are we ready for that kind of a life beyond a crisis? So my responsibility here is to take you through uh, some of the things that will assist you beyond a lockdown, preparing your mindset to win or a mindset of a winner. Winners, you know, they think differently. Winners, they don't think, you know, in an average way, but they think differently, which you and I, it is a skill that you and I can also learn. It's not something that it's impossible, but it is a skill that you and I can also learn in life. The first thing that I want you to understand, um, it is that thoughts are a reality. Thoughts are a reality. So if you don't believe me, uh, that, that is why the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Because thoughts are a reality. We create our future through our thinking patterns. We create a future through the way we think or imagine or think on things. That is how we create our future. Our future is created by the thoughts that we create. I've read a book, a very interesting book that you can also get that for yourself. It is a book called The Secret. So that book shares some thoughts that are very interesting that every time when you think about something or when you say a word, the atmosphere or the, the universe will take every word that you have said, every thoughts that you have thought, you know, you, you thought about and it will come and create a future for you and give it to you. What if where we are today, we are reaping the results of our thoughts? What if where we are today, we are reaping what we thought about in the past five years or so. And also, what if it is possible to change our future? What if we can have control with the future or with our tomorrow by changing the way we think? Number two, you must also dwell on the positive. We have seen the news. Every time when you switch on television news or television channels, you are finding, you know, the news anchors talking about negative stuff. They are talking about COVID, you know, um, 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 uh, 19. Yes, of course, we respect them. They are supposed to report um, what is happening there. But it was also the WHO that said, if you feel that there's so much negativity on television, you must also make sure that you refrain from watching their such kind of news. Because these things, ladies and gentlemen, believe me or not, that it's always a psychological effect of these things. That it's always something that is going to impact how, you know, we, we are going to live our life beyond the lockdown. I listened even yesterday to a clinical psychologist who was talking about the effects of this lockdown. And that is why for those who have been watching our stats in our show, 
Even the domestic violence, they've increased because our psychology, our mindset, it's not ready for what we are going through. And we are becoming frustrated and we release this negative energy on other people that are around us. So I want to say to you, you must make sure that you dwell on the positive. Something that says it is possible that there is life beyond our crisis. Something that says even if your business now is going down, your mindset as a winner says we are going to win. We will recover. Because we have seen, you know, um, economies of the world crumble down. We have seen even China many years ago was not even second largest economy of the world. No. They had to go and rework. They had to go and, 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 and strategize and make sure that they are relevant to their age. Very important. Stay around. Dwell on the positive. Dwell on the positive. Because your mind will influence your future. Number three, you must find your purpose. Very important. All of us, we are living because there is a purpose. You have not yet fulfilled your purpose. There is still something that you and I have to do. The reason why you and I are still alive today, it is because there is a purpose that we need to fulfill. I read a book of Esther in the Bible, chapter 4, verse number 14. It was a question like what I'm saying to you today, where the Bible says to Esther, what if you were born for a time such as this? And I want to ask you the same question, ladies and gentlemen. What if you were born for a time such as this? What if you were born for a time such as this? What if you were born for a time such as this? What if you are the right person to provide a solution for a nation? What if you are the scientist that is supposed to come with a solution to deal, you know, and develop a vaccine for this COVID-19? What if you are that person that is supposed to help our economy grow? What if you are that person who is supposed to assist our government on how they can collect their revenue even on a lockdown like this? What if you are that person who is supposed to change the narrative? Find your purpose in life. You know, where there is no purpose, abuse is inevitable. Very important. Miles Monroe spoke a lot about purpose. And he indicated that life without purpose is meaningless, it's dearth. And I want to challenge you today, ladies and gentlemen, to say, wherever you are, find your purpose. Find your purpose. Find your purpose. There is a reason why you are still alive today. Number four, provide value. If you want to be a winner, you want to win even beyond a lockdown, there must be value that you are providing. You will realize that as we go back and we open the country, everything will be in speed. People are looking for quick solutions. They are looking for plug and play. And if you are not that kind of a person, you must know that you are going to miss a lot of opportunities. Companies are going to look for solution providers. We are going to look for people that are going to turn our organizations around. Are you that person that is supposed to provide value? Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever realized that KFC, Nando's, and Chicken Licken, they are still thriving today? using or thriving by one commodity, which is chicken. The chicken can come raw as it is from the farmer, but the minute it hits Nando's, we turn it around into mild, hot, or lemon and herb, or something else. And I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you and say that there must be value that you and I are adding. In actual fact, in a space, if you and I are the same, you must always remember then it means one of us is unnecessary. I challenge you today, build up that value. If you don't know what is the value, make some research. This lockdown gives you an opportunity to research on certain areas, on certain competencies, on certain skills. Build up yourself and build up value. Very important. Number five, the mindset of a winner says, every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. Every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. Very important. Many a time we lose opportunities because we are burying our heads in the sand, thinking that it is the end of the world. You know, some of the people kill themselves because of a setback. No, 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 no. Don't kill yourself. That it's always an opportunity beyond a lockdown. There is an opportunity beyond where we are. There is an opportunity beyond whatever you're going through. 
Change the way you think. A setback is an opportunity for you to do it again. A setback is an opportunity for you to correct your mistake. It's an opportunity again for you to correct where you are. Whatever mistakes you've made in life, it is that opportunity. Change the way you see yourself. Change the way you think. Because there are many possibilities that are coming your way. There is a great opportunity.